it's a party. So I wanted to do a get ready with me. So I've already put like my foundation makeup on. I've primed my face, foundation. I've been baking my face for like 20 minutes now, hoping that, you know, I look real baked and contoured. So I figured I would show you guys what it's like after it bakes and my eye makeup and just the finishing touch. So I'm actually heading to a NC State football game this afternoon. Sometimes I like to bake my face with HD powder as well, like under my eyes, because I look like a wrinkly hag. <sighs> Brush am I going to use? I live for Morphe palettes. I don't buy anything else besides the Morphe palettes now. This is the Jaclyn Hill one. And then this is the Natural Glow 350. I just recently got this one from the Morphe store in Charlotte. And it's a bunch of neutral colors. Like it is so, so, so pretty. You can't beat that, buddy. So I think I'm gonna use this one today just because I'm going for a more natural look. I'm just gonna take this fluffier Morphe brush, the M504. It's a little bigger. Some people don't like using that big of a brush, but I like to use this for like my base. I'm gonna use this color right here. Sting. When I'm putting eyeshadow on your brush, always knock it off because after you just baked your face, it's literally going to get everywhere. Okay, voila, that is my base coat. Ooh boy. Okay, then I'm gonna take this smaller Morphe brush, the M330. What kitty are you looking at? You wanted your second color to be more of a transition color, so I think I'm gonna take this one right underneath Sting. It is called... I'm gonna stay right on that crease right there. Well, the next thing I'm gonna do is use this angle brush. I got this in an Ipsy bag as well. Slamis Glam Angled IE61. I'm gonna take this color down here, this darker shade right there. So this one's gonna stay close to the edges. I have a little bit of eyeshadow down here that kind of fell off. So I'm gonna put some eyeliner on. I'm old school, I don't like liquid. I've been using this, I think, since 10th grade. It's the Revlon Color Stay. Not done with my eyeshadow yet. I just like to put that on because I put glitter on my eyes so it's easier to fix up the eyeliner after. Make sure no, none of my friends have texted me saying they're ready to go because, oh gosh, just got a text. Heading there now. I'm not even ready. See you soon, Katrina. So I'm gonna then go in with this shade right here before I put the glitter on. It's this one right here. So 
So then I'm gonna go in with some glitter, my favorite part. Really, out of all names, clear. Okay, <laughs> clear. Okay, that'll do, whatever. The eyeshadow brush in 15. I'm just going to take that the second and third color I used, kind of mix that and line the bottom of my eye. Go back in with the Morphe M504. And I'm just literally going to come from the inside out and blend. Go back over with the eyeliner. Goodbye, Morphe palette. Just seeing a little bit. Eyebrows, my favorite freaking part. I use the Milani Stay Put Brow Color in the shade three, medium brown. I've used this stuff for the longest time. It just looks like this. It comes with a little brush and you just dab it in there a little bit. Get something on that thing. I line the top of my eyebrow. Looks good to me. Bronzer. I got this also in an Ipsy bag. It's Lovecraft Beauty Bronzer. It literally looks like this. I've never used this brush or have, but in a very long time, it's just the Elf Complexion brush. But this is so dark. I don't even want to use my other bronzing brush until afterwards because it is so pigmented. Y'all see that? Like, girl, that is fire. Okay, this brush might be the next thing. Next move, boy. Oh my God. The video makes me look like I really contoured the heck out of my face. It actually doesn't look too bad. Oh my God, I have to blend it. I feel like the lighting makes it look worse than it actually is. Okay, I guess I'll blend it in just in case. So I guess I will use this bigger brush. It's a Kinsey brush. From this angle, it looks fantastic. But you know what's missing? Highlighter. I think actually that's my favorite part. I just got this in an Ipsy bag, of course. Mary Dew Manizer Liquid Mary Lou Manon Whatever, it's a liquid highlighter. I don't know what, it, I'll find it. Oh, oh my gosh, that looks fantastic. <sighs> Girl. I'm gonna put on my Revolution Strip Highlighter. Oh my gosh, I forgot it was on my nose. Mind y'all say nothing. I just used, this is like my favorite all time mascara. It's the L'Oreal Curved Brush. I got this in an Ipsy bag as well. It's the Benefit, the Roller Lash. All right, one more baby, one more, I swear. Benefit, they're real, got that too. Bada bing, bada boom. So I want this dry, and I'm gonna straighten my hair in the meantime. So yeah, this Urban Decay Dislike Makeup Setting Spray Oil Control literally is key, ladies. You have to use this. This is why my makeup stays like this all night. So this is the final look. This is the cute little Kate Spade bag I just got. Look how cute that is. Oh, love it. 
wearing these cute little jeans with, they have like little beading on them um, with these shoes as well I got from Amazon. I did decide to put some lipstick on, so. Okay guys, I just wanna say thanks for watching this. I don't know if you guys could have learned anything or not, but it was fun to make and I think my makeup looks really good today. So I give it to you guys that looks this good. But also these earrings I'm wearing, I got also from Amazon. I'm sure something cool will be coming next week, but just make sure you subscribe to my channel down here, turn the bell on. Yeah, we'll see you soon.